The San Antonio Bravos making a late playoff push as they close out the regular season this weekend here in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome. All right, yeah, I cannot believe that the inaugural season is close to being done. Hopefully Ooh. not, David. And joining us now to talk all things Brahmas is their punter and former NFL player Brad Wing. David, I know you got a lot of questions for Brad. Got a lot of questions. Brad, earlier this week we talked to uh, Coach Ward, Coach Hines Ward, and he said that um, he had just come out of the meeting and the game plan was set. So got any insight as to the game plan for or Saturday afternoon for us? I mean, yeah, I can give you guys a little bit. Okay. Um, as long as you promise not to tell coach you got the info from me. But what we're trying to do this weekend is just score more than D.C. Boom. <laughs> That's a game plan if I ever heard one. Yeah. I yeah. Good. Yes. Seems That's simpler. beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Um, my other question is, what's the preparation been like this week, knowing that you guys have to win on Saturday and then you need a little help on Sunday? Yeah, it's kind of similar to last week. You know, we knew going into the last two games that we had to win two games and then we need some help for some other teams. So uh, this week's no different to last week. We know that we have to give it everything we got. And in order for us to get a chance at the postseason, we have to win no matter what else happens. So uh, the guys are ready, man. We've been through a lot of adversity this year. We're, we're a very close group and we're just excited for this weekend uh, to see all the fans out there and, um, and play for some serious stuff on the line. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, Brad, seeing you guys play. I want to ask you, though, XFL, of course, you guys are all hub there in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I know you guys have been actually taking some flights back and forth with some teams that you may have played. What's that experience been like for you to be able to travel with some of the teams that you had just played, maybe beat, maybe lost to, and just kind of the uh, uniqueness of that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting um, traveling to and from um wherever you're playing on the same plane with with the team you're playing against so uh it's, it's even a bit more interesting after the game whether, whether you're on the winning or losing side so uh there's a lot of new things in the xfl but it's it's been a fantastic experience for me um so far and like i said i'm just i'm just grateful to have this opportunity in front of me and then we're excited as a team for the opportunities in front of us this weekend so how do they how do they separate y'all on the on the plane to put some of you on the back some of you in the front winners losers how do they how do they divide that up so the home team, home team gets the front of the plane, oh, and then the, okay. a couple of security guards, I think, uh, separating the teams, and then uh, away team in the back. So we're all, we've always been in the back since our home home field is in San Antonio, and we don't have to fly there. All right, that is good stuff. Oh, now, Brad, stinks, so yeah. it's got to be the back of the plane. <laughs> that does, ready, that right? does. Yeah, interesting <laughs> experience there. Brad, we know you guys have been doing a lot within the community, reaching out. Uh, what's that been like for you guys to get to know some people here in San Antonio? It's it's awesome, man. We, we really enjoy that. Like you guys said, we're not there during the weeks. So we really, really appreciate the time that we get when we go down there. We've been out to uh, the naval base out there. We've been to a couple of local restaurants, been down on the river walk, handing out tickets, just really getting to meet the community and, and meet the fans down there. It's awesome. I think tomorrow we're going to eat with some veterans. Um, so we really look forward to the time we get to share with the community down there. Yeah, y'all going to be at Bernie tomorrow, I think. Well, so let me ask you this question. You know there's going to be a lot of uh, retrospection. There's going to be a lot of looking back on how can we can improve this league. you think there might be some talk about maybe you guys spend a little bit more time down here, maybe come down once or twice during the season and practice and be in the community even more? Is that something you think might be discussed just so you can get to know the fans even more? Yeah, I, I, I think they are discussing that. I mean, as players, I know we definitely want to be in the city um, that we're representing for sure. Like I said, we love being in San Antonio any chance we can get. Um, you know, again, we know it's a startup league. We know it's early days. So hopefully down the road, um, and, and I would guess that that's what they're planning too, is to have all the guys in the city that they're playing for, just to build that community up. All right, Brad, you're an LSU alum. Not sure how many people knew that. So we know that uh, New Orleans throws a good party out there, but ah. we got a big one going on here. <laughs> what have you heard about Fiesta here in San Antonio? You guys are obviously going to be playing here this weekend as Fiesta starts here across the city. I've heard it's a legitimate <laughs> contender with uh, New Orleans Mardi Gras. Ooh. Yeah, so, <laughs> I, uh, again, I won't be able to partake because we have business on Saturday, but I'll be, I'll be peeking out the window to see, to see if it can compare. A legitimate contender. I like that because yeah. a lot of times it's been compared to Mardi Gras. Does Mardi Gras have like three parades and then a big fiesta, fiesta party before it gets all started? Do they have that? I, they, they got everything, Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> they got it all. I'll tell you that much. 
Uh, it might be kind of hard to compare because this is a little different than, than Mardi Gras, but it's yeah. still fun. We, yeah, we would love for you guys to be down here, but we know you got a lot of work to do. And uh, we, as much as we would like for you to be here, we don't really want you here because we want you all prepared. <laughs> yeah, yeah we playoffs. want you guys to take care of business. Um, and uh, we actually do have your all's Fiesta medal. Did you get first one of these time. medals? Did you get one of these medals, yeah. these first ever Brahma okay. Fiesta medals, Brad? I'm, I'm told you can only get one by attending our game. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you guys got them on sale in the concourse on Saturday afternoon. So if you want one of those medals, you got to go to the game and, and get one. And by the way, I, these medals are probably like beads from Mardi Gras. I mean, everybody wants the beads and everybody down here wants these medals. That's how big these things are. Yeah, well, come get yours at the game on Saturday. Looking Our, forward to it. Yeah, absolutely, Brad. All right. It's been a lot of fun talking with you. Best of luck this weekend as you guys look to make a playoff push. And again, hopefully, hopefully you guys get to play the XFL championship game if things go their way Ooh, that'd be right here, here at the Alamo yeah. Dome. It'd be a lot of fun. Right. Thank you, guys. Thanks for, the, thanks for the insight into that game plan, too. No problems. I appreciate tell that. Just score more. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, uh, he was a fun interview. The key difference, of course, uh, when people toss medals versus necklaces, got to be a little lighter on the throw. With the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be. Right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you might like knock somebody like out with some right. somebody in the head with overhead, those things. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these medals are huge. <laughs> a little lob, maybe. <laughs> Seems really nice. Uh, RJ David, thank you, guys. Great these guys got into it, though. Yes, sir. Right off the bat. Horns forward. All right. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.